So today I am at my parents' house and it is the day after Christmas and I am currently using my sister's old camera because she got a new camera so she said I can use this camera. Anyways, um, I didn't want to do a what I got for Christmas haul but I've been really wanting to make new videos but I haven't been wanting to use my webcam because the quality is not very good. So today we decided or I decided and I asked my sister if she would want to do it with me. Um, I am going to do a what's in my hope chest video and for those of you who don't know what a hope chest is, um, typically it's a wooden chest um, and I know that this is really popular in the Mennonite community. <laughs> Um, and they'll get this like wooden chest and then they can fill it with things that they get for their birthday. So they get things like um, Tupperware and like plaques and stuff to decorate their future home. So um, one day I was like, okay, let's get let's get plastic tubs since we don't have like actual wooden chests and decorate them and make them our hope chests because we're slowly like accumulating things for our homes and for our kids when we eventually have kids. Me by getting married, my sister by <laughs> asexual reproduction. <laughs> my frozen Asian sperm. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. She wants to adopt her kids. Um anyways, so I thought we would do a quick video on what's in our or hope Unless chest. you're Benedict Cumberbatch, in which case I'm available. <laughs> so yeah. Um these are what our hope chests look like. Ugh. <laughs> They're pretty big. Ow. We are going to have to reposition ourselves probably. They're pretty big. They're just the like containers that you can find from just Walmart. Show the camera. And show them yours. This is mine. The front is just decorated with sparkle or with stickers and the side is with stickers. And then the back is also with stickers and Mod Podge things. And then on this side, whoa, there's a verse. And in case anyone's wondering, it's Jeremiah 29, 11, 13. And then this is the cap. And it just says, Aranda's Hope Chest, because that's me. Huh. I don't do Bible verses. Instead, I try to one-up people with my art skills. <laughs> so I painted on mine. I got some stuff like some stickers and everything. Got some trees. And then I thought, eh, I'm just going to paint it. So I painted it, and then I got a dragon sticker and put it up by the mountain because, um, Hobbit. So, yeah. I'm always, I'm always in a, a sense of the Lord of the Rings or Tolkien state of mind. And then I thought, hey, I have extra stickers, so bam. I just covered it in stickers. Yeah, there's really nothing on the sides. Not anything. More about. stickers. More stickers. I'm not. Yeah, I, put mine I just. Here. I don't really care Ugh. about most of the things. Okay. Um. Now, my sister actually has more stuff in her hope ah. chest. Um, for her future kid, because she knows basically. She knows basically exactly what she wants to do. Can she know? <laughs> With her nursery someday. Go ahead. Get in. And I know that I want to do purple and pink. With mine, um, if I have a girl, and I want to put pandas in it, I think. But purple and pink for sure, like lavender and a soft pink. So we're just—I guess we can just take turns showing what's in our hope chests. You go first. Okay. The first thing in my hope chest is this little bear, and she's really cute. She just has a um, a hat and a dress on, and it's the Barrington collection, and she's just cute. And I was like, oh, I want to buy her, but I can't justify buying her for myself, so I'm going to put her in my book chest. Yeah, that's really why I bought it. Basically the same thing with me is that I have a Kimba, the white lion, or Leo the lion from Tezuka, because my theme is lions. It's, it's mostly jungle, but it's also lions. Mostly Lion King, but since I like to tell people that I'm not... You know, I'm not heavy on the, oh, Lion King was a copy of Jungle Emperor Leo. I have them both living together in harmony. So he's still in his packaging. So that's good. Okay. Um, the next thing is my, is this little Frozen book that I literally just got recently, about a month ago. If that, oh! You suck. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Anyways, it's this little frozen book. Um, and it's one of the little golden books, and we had a bunch of them when we were little, and so I'm starting my kid off right with the little golden books. So, I have that. I guess I should do the book too, though. Alright. Alright, just get some skies out. I have a Rise of the Guardians Jack Frost book, and I actually have two of these. Um, one is for him to do with as he pleases, and the other one is to keep nice. Um, and yeah, and then I also have a little comic book that is also Rise of the Guardians because Jack Frost. Jack Frost is going to be a very prominent, uh, figure, I guess you could say, in the life of the little one, at least for me. I, I'm going to try and raise him, I guess. I don't know. I want him to believe in Jack Frost, or at least think fondly of him. So those are the books that I have. Okay, next I have some Christmas stuff. Yeah, I have Christmas stuff already. I have Muddy Paws uh, First Christmas, and so it's just like a little kid's Christmas book. And I also have a little teeny tiny stocking. This will probably just go in her room because I'm assuming that I'm going to get a big stocking for her. Even when she's a baby, put stuff in it. Um, but my mom actually bought this. I was like, Mom, you should buy this for your future grandchild. And so she did. So she and then, get into there. And then, um, yeah, that book. So, uh, have that. Okay, I don't think I have anything. Christmas, I have the ornament. These are mine. <laughs> I keep some of my other Jack Frost stuff in here, so just ignore that. Um, I do have one Christmas, um, thing, and that is the, uh, Rise of the Guardians Jack Frost um, ornament because as I said Jack Frost is going to be a prominent thing and during the beginning or the first day of winter I'm probably going to try and make it a tradition that we can hang Jack Frost either somewhere in his room or somewhere on the tree or something so yeah. Alright the next thing I have is this little thing that I got from Gor yeah, Gordman's and it was on sale, that's why I got it, to be quite honest. But it's this really cute little plaque, and it always it says, always kiss me goodnight. And I figured I would put that in my bedroom whenever I'm married. Asexual reproduction. Oh, this woman, I don't have anything like... Well, just grab something similar to that. You don't need something similar, just grab whatever you want. Okay. I guess I'll do this. Whoops. I have this. It's a it's a little canvas, a uh, painting like a uh, picture, and it's on board with canvas. And it's really nice. And it's green, and it's got a lion on it, which is great because the theme is lions. And actually, green, uh, light blue, and tan and yellow pretty much are all the central colors of what I'm going for. Okay, this I actually got for Christmas, and I don't know why I took it out of the packaging. I really don't. I wanted to, like, pop off the head, because it's a, it's like a piggy bank, but it also, like, right now it has bubble bath in it. So, um, my daughter or kid's bathroom is going to be, actually, it's going to be, like, fan, like, baby Disney themed is going to be the bathroom. And so, yeah, they, they'll they have a bubble bath in here, and then when the bubble, bubble bath is gone, this turns into a piggy bank, so, so they can jam coins in the back of Bambi's head. Oh, that sounds comforting. Um, I have a blanket. This is... <laughs> in a minute! This is actually something that uh, we got today, because, um... About two years ago, maybe, uh, I found this collection done by Disney, which was with um, The Lion King, and that's actually kind of where it started, that I was like, okay, that's what I want to do. I want to have The Lion King as my kids' um, baby stuff, and so we went to Walmart, and we saw that they actually have this stuff available now, so I went ahead and got this uh, little baby Simba. Um, blanket and this is possibly the softest thing on the face of the earth. It is so soft that 
it's so soft. It's really soft. It's crazy soft. Love it. A baby would really like it. Yeah. So it's the first one from the collection, and they also carry sheets, bedding, uh, the baby. The mobile? The mobile. Mobile. They have literally everything. So I'm, the, the goal is to try and get everything and then just save it away. Okay. The next thing I have, she bones. The next thing I have in here actually isn't for my kid. It's a, I didn't want my mom to throw this away and she was going to thing. Um, and this is my tiger mug and you drink out of, you drink his brains. Anyways, my sister and I got cups when we went to um, Barnum and Bailey Circus and we actually got like shaved ice in it. And so we've had these forever, and my mom was like... I don't even remember this circus. That's how young I was. Yeah. Like, I have I barely no remember. memory of going. I remember going. the trapeze artists. I have no memory of going. But, yeah, we went and saw this with our cousins, and my mom was like, I'm going to get rid of these because you never use them. And I'm just like, no, I don't, I, I don't want you to get rid of the Ringling Brothers stuff. So I took it, and I put it in my thing, and... That's why that's in here. I have mine also, and it is also in my hope chest, so. It's a hippo, and you get to eat out of his mouth. Yay, backwash. <laughs> okay, do you want to fix something? I thought I just did. Okay, um, we're going to stick with the lion theme, I guess. I have this door hanger, and it is the blue that I'm going for, and it's also got a lion on it. And which is good because that is the theme. So, go ahead. And go. Okay. Um, next I have um, uh, Peter Rabbit stuff. Well, technically this is the tale of Mr. Jeremy Fisher and he the frog. But I also have the Beatrix Potter, the world of Peter Rabbit and friends. And I know when my sister and I were little, we used to watch this all the time. My dad actually recorded it from TV onto a tape and we watched it all the time um, and this has like four different no three different stories um, Tittlemouse I don't think it has Mrs. Tittlemouse Mrs. Oh, Tittlemouse. And Mrs. Tittlemouse okay so yeah I just love these movies I have always loved these movies since I was a little kid I want my kids to grow up with them and by the way it's a BBC product BBC. But it doesn't make you cry, so there's a first. Well, it gives me feels. That's true. I also have a copy of this. Um, also keeping with the lion theme, I have a Simba little sippy cup. And, yeah, it's only half his face. And it unscrews like that. That's cute. And it's really, really cute. And it was one of the first um, lion things I got for the theme. And since she brought out a sippy cup, I'll bring out my sippy cup as well with this thing since it matches. Um, this I actually got at Target. And it's just a little sippy cup and it's pink and it has the Eiffel Tower and says love and ship them. I think that's how you say it. And ship them. Ship them. And then oh, ho, ho, I have ho, 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 the plate it. that's the same. Eiffel Tower. The same basic um, theme. So that's that. I have that for my kid. French people are cool. Um, I guess I'm going to go with something I got at Target, too. I found just a little baby bottle and another little sippy cup. And the reason I got these was because they were the Cookie Monster. And ever since I've been, like, way, way little, I love the Cookie Monster. Like, I feel him on a spiritual level. So, I love the Cookie Monster. I have Cookie Monster stuff myself. And I thought, yeah, I better get him started early, so... I have some Cookie Monster themed stuff that doesn't really go with the lions, but that's okay. And then I also have, I forgot about these. These are supposed to be with the little collection too from Target. Um, it's a pink plate and a little blue, blue plate. Um, and I just liked these. I'm not going to lie. Half of this stuff doesn't really have a theme going, not as well as Sasha's does. But if I like something, I pick it up, so. So, yeah. Keeping with the plates theme, I have a um, How to Train Your Dragon set with a plate, a bowl, and a cup. 
And this is kind of a given for anybody that knows me because I'm a giant How to Train Your Dragon fan. I was actually wanting to keep this myself, but I was like, I need a reason to buy it. So I got it, and I was like, oh, I'm going to put it in my hope chest for my kid. But in actuality, I count it as a part of my How to Train Your Dragon collection for myself. But I am just going to save it and see if it'll make it to him because there's no guarantee that when I move out, I may run out of plates. <laughs> so you never know. Alrighty. Okay. Oh gosh. This stuff I got all at Target and it was like a dollar. And I can't justify buying like really expensive plates for my little kid because, well, quite frankly, they'll probably ruin them. I know I ruined a bunch of plates by sticking them in the microwave. So, I got Hello Kitty stuff. And how can you not have Hello Kitty for your daughter when you're me? Because I have a bunch of Hello Kitty stuff. So I have this cup. I have this big plate. I have this little bowl. Oh, stuff is falling. And I have this to put like snacks and such in. And then whenever they get bigger, or even I could put just whatever I wanted to in it really. I have a little sandwich. It's in the shape contained. of a sandwich. It is so they try to tell you what to do. Yeah, they try, yeah, pretty much. So there's that. I only have one more thing worth mentioning in here, and that is this rattle used to be mine when I was a baby, and it is from Guate, or Guatemala, if you don't know our pronunciation, um, and it is just really, really special to me, and it was my rattle, because you know how normally the rattles are that round, weird thing with the crap inside, and then you shake it. Well, that's not how rattles work down there, at least not for us and stuff. So this is our rattle. It's got, it's actually missing one. This red one, apparently, I shook too hard. <laughs> but it's just these cute little bell-like things, and they have little things inside them. And then when you shake it, it's a rattle. And so I'm going to give it to my kid and let them use it because I used it. And it's still in great condition. <laughs> For it just being plastic, all of this being just plastic stuff. Not even, like, heavy plastic. Uh-uh. It's, it's in great condition, and we still... I actually rescued it because we have this habit of giving it to the babies that come over to our house and let them shake it and play with it because they always love it. So I'm surprised it's lived as long as it. What the crap? <laughs> Bear down. <laughs> so that's the last thing I have. Okay, and the last thing I have. Wow, this worked out pretty well. Is this some? Okay, it's I got it from the icing and it says something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. And it's just a little teeny dainty necklace um, with a little heart on it. And I'm going to somehow incorporate it whenever I get married. I don't think I'm actually going to wear it as a necklace, but maybe I'll put it somewhere on my bouquet or something. But yeah, but this is going to be my something blue. I just need to find something old, something new, and then something borrowed. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's everything that we have in our hope chest right as of right now. Um, I'm realize that I'm going to have to start looking for stuff. Well, I don't have to start looking for stuff, but it would really be a good idea to start looking because she has plenty of stuff and it all falls to me. Mine's just kind of, oh, I saw this and I liked it. And I saw this and I liked it. Um, and this is my current baby. Her name is Kenshi. Her name is Kenshi because we thought she was a boy and we named her after the blind ninja on um, Mortal Kombat. So her name is Kenshi Houdini. Um, I call her Kenshi Anna. Kenshi Anna. Well, her name is actually Kenshi Houdini because for the first couple of months she was alive, we thought she was a boy. Because she's like really, really rambunctious. And so she's still rambunctious. We've gotten her spayed and declawed, thinking that would calm her down. But she's still really, really rambunctious and gets into everything as you can see. But, yeah. So that was our hope chest. You we have had you this like cat it. for almost a freaking year, and you have yet to do an introduction video with your cat. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sad. Well, she's popped up, but I don't think I've ever actually... I think I explain her name every time, honestly. Anyways, um, we hope you like this video. Um, in the comments below, let me know if you've ever heard of a hope chest or if you have a hope chest. I would honestly love to see more videos with hope chests. It's kind of interesting to get 
um, to see what people are wanting to do with their lives, what they're looking forward to, and what they're collecting for that time. Um, so if you just so happen to have a hope chest, definitely leave a video response or a link below and I will definitely watch it. Um, thanks again for watching my video and hopefully now I can start doing more videos since my sister's going to let me use her camera on a regular break regular basis. I do believe my mother is done making dinner and she has called us, so... Wait. I, you think I would come on your channel and then not, like, freaking... Oh. Yes. Okay. Product place myself. Okay. Okay, if you like movies, fandom, fandoms including anything to do from Super Hulock to just Star Trek and Lord of the Rings, anything nerdy whatsoever, and, like, movie reviews, or just, like, Hearing me talk and say stupid jokes that nobody finds funny, I am Otter Parade, and she will give you a link to my channel. Ow, oh, the cat scratched me. The link will be below. Yep, so that's follow a me. candle. That if is a candle. So